What's up, you guys? What's up? We're going to hop right into this traditional sew-in. Welcome back to my channel. It's Sugar Salon TV. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. You guys are a blessing. And if you're a visitor, welcome and I hope you consider subscribing. So, you guys, I'm doing this traditional sew-in. So, a traditional sew-in is when there's leave out. So, this beautiful client with this beautiful gray hair, her hair is thick, but up at the top where the leave out is, there's a little thinning area there where it's a little thinner. So, I had mentioned to her, she's a very long time client of my salon, even from my storefront salon. And I had mentioned to her and recommended to her that, you know, she could do some sew ins. Um, on her hair and I could do that for her and um, she was really excited so this is her second time getting a sew in and I've, I've been doing the traditional I have not been doing any lace closures I haven't been doing any full sew ins on her I've been doing the traditional just simply meaning that there's leave out now I do offer all of those other services I offer uh, lace closures. I offer, you know, full with nothing out. I offer, you know, quick weave, prontos, whatever you want to call them. Wigs. I make wigs. So I do all that. I offer a plethora of services. Um, but now we're just braiding it up. But for her, I recommended the traditional sew-in, which means there's leave out. So I left out that area in front. And so usually when I start to braid up, I just start behind the ear. And then I'm just, I determine how I'm going to, you know, like what braid pattern I'm going to use based on the hair. Just depending on how thick the hair is, you know, how fine it is, if it's hair loss. So um, all of that goes into play when I'm trying to determine like which braid pattern I'm going to use. So for her, uh, with this traditional sew-in, I just decided to do the leave out and then just do the braid pattern in a circle. So that's what you see me doing here now. So I'm just continuing to go in a circle and I'm making the braids kind of small, not too big because I don't want them humpy or chunky or anything like that. So as you see, I'm just going in a circle, I'm sectioning off. And so my leave out, um, when I'm doing traditional sewing and a client wants leave out, I always ask them what they want left out. So I know that she puts her hair in a ponytail so whenever someone is going to get a traditional sew-in with leave out and they want to wear ponytails, you not only leave out some at the top, but you leave out some on the sides and on the back nape of the neck as well. Reason being is that you want um, the client to have some hair so that when they put their hair in a ponytail, uh, they will have some of their own hair left out to cover up the track so that the tracks won't show. So you guys, I'm on Instagram right here at Sugar Salon. I actually have a, um, three Instagrams. One of them is personal, two are, is business, but the main one is Sugar Salon. And um, you can figure out what the second business one is when you get on there because you'll, you'll see me make mention of it or you will... Um, be linked to that one as well so the main one is sugar salon so if you have instagram and if you could follow me there that would be great you will see more information or more pictures of my work and more of what i do so i'm just continuing to go in a circle here with that leave out on the sides in the front and in the back on the nape of the neck
So as I work my way around the front, you can see some of that thinning area right there in the front here. So that's where her little thin area is. And so if you do have thinning or fine hair or broken hair or anything like that, you can get sew-in weaves. You can do traditional. It just all depends on where your hair, hair loss is or where your thinning area or your weak area is. You also have to be careful and be cognizant of your service provider as well. If your hair is very fine or if you're starting to have thinning or hair loss. And the reason being is that, you know, some people just, you know, some people in the hair industry and I'm not trying to bash anybody, but sometimes people just, they may braid too tight or their installs may be too tight where it will call traction alopecia. It's actually called traction alopecia. And you guys, traction alopecia, it, it just comes from just really tight pulling, tight installs, tight braids. And you can look that up. You can Google it to learn more about it. And the word alopecia is a fancy big word for hair loss. So I'm using Empire Hair and it's color M51. M like Mary and 51. The Empire brand of hair by um, Sensational. They actually have two different um, gray colors. But I had advised her to get the gray color that has more gray in it that looks more white because the other gray color it looks darker like it looks like it has more black in it um so i knew that the m51 would look it would blend better with her own hair because she has more kind of a white in her hair so um, you, as you can see, it matches her leave out perfectly, and we've used this color the last time. So you guys, I made it so easy for you guys to subscribe by just getting your iPhone or your Android or whatever cell phone brand you have, and just scan this QR code, and it's going to take you to my home page for my YouTube channel, and then you just smash that subscribe button thank you so much um looks like my subscribers are going up so i really appreciate you guys and i hope um you are happy with my channel if you ever have suggest suggestions just drop them down in the comments below and i will take heed and we'll try to put something on here that you suggest so suggestions would be highly appreciated so back to this traditional so the way I'm installing it, I want it to kind of lay on the sides. And so that's how I'm installing it. So I want it to lay on her sides um, because I'm making it look kind of as full as possible. And we're only doing like a one pack install because I want it to not only look full, but look believable. And when I say full, you know, I want it to be enough in her you know of an install but i don't want it to be so full that it looks unbelievable and so you guys i'm showing you the net whenever i do a sew-in even if it's a traditional sew-in with leave out i always use a net now i've been doing that for years because i always want to protect people's hair whether you have thick hair thin hair in between it doesn't matter what the health of your hair is um if i do a traditional sew-in i'm usually going to use a net and i use a soft net i don't use a hard net so um unless a client just tell me they don't want the net then i'll use a net because it helps to protect your own hair it also helps the braids to last longer the nets have uh, the nets that I use have holes in it so your hair can breathe, you know, um, you don't have to worry about that. It's all good. But if a client tell me they don't want the net, then I won't use it, but I highly recommend it. Here is the finished look, you guys, and I hope you'll comment, like, subscribe, and share. See you on the next video.